TTIP is beneficial for you in more ways than one, and it has been proven. The TTIP will re lead to an increase in GDP, but more importantly, the TTIP will give European companies, European businesses access to 200 million more consumers than they currently do. It will enable smaller companies to be able to do this, it will enable more innovation, and it will enable greater partnership. We based our argument in an economic argument, a social argument, and a privacy argument. The economic argument was based on the fact that competition would be lowered, consequently there would be no innovation and countries would be poorer. The social argument, the SMEs would be destroyed with the TTIP, consequently there would be more unemployment, quality of living decreases, and the privacy argument is basically a conflict between US and EU laws. From our team we believe that TTIP would be extremely positive for the, both the United States and the European Union because uh, economic reasons, social reasons, political reasons, but going into economic reasons, it will, not, it will not only provide growth, it will also provide employment, and finally it will be highly beneficial for the medium and small enterprises, because it will provide them with more opportunities. So we've had a great debate here tonight at IE University in Segovia between a series of students about some of the really big issues that face us on TTIP. And at the end of the day, the choice, I think, is a pretty simple one. Do we want a Europe that looks outward to the world in this globalised world, or that looks inward and that tries to set up barriers? Do we believe in the power of trade to drive prosperity forward, to create new opportunities for our firms and create jobs for the millions of Europeans who are still out of work? If we do, we want to. Take.